Welcome to Zcast, everyone. I'm Zenas Caravella from ZK Research, and I'm here in Vegas at the F1 yeah. event. Uh, I'm with uh, Jamil Valiani, head of AI for Atlassian, right. who is the title sponsor for Williams Racing now. Yeah. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about AI. And so, uh, Jamil, um, uh, just before we get going, maybe a quick intro on yourself and your role in Atlassian. Yeah. Uh, so, as you said, Jamil Valiani, head of AI at Atlassian. Uh, based in Seattle. I've been with Atlassian about two years, but I've been in the AI industry for over 20 years. Most Microsoft, Microsoft. Microsoft. Yeah. That's right, yeah, I worked on Bing, Symphony, and a few other AI projects out there. Uh, but I've been at Atlassian now, and I've been having a great time helping uh, over 300,000 of our customers enjoy the benefits of AI accelerating their teams. Yeah, now I think, uh, when I think of Atlassian, yeah. uh, I think Jira, and yeah. I think a lot of people do too. And I don't want to say that Atlassian's AI is maybe some hidden secret. Obviously, you got a lot of customers using it. Yeah. Uh, but talk about, you know, obviously, you're using AI to make Jira better, but it's much more than that, right? Absolutely. So talk about the AI portfolio there. Yeah, totally. So uh, Atlassian has actually been empowering teams for uh, well over two decades, helping them track their projects, goals, knowledge, through a whole host of products. And we call all of this, this whole set of uh, offerings we have our system of work. And it's our philosophy for how we know uh, work happens best in business. We've offered uh, products like Teamwork Collection or uh, collections of Teamwork Collection that uh, allow Jira, Confluence, and Loom to be packaged together uh, to a business, allowing them to uh, enable their workforces to compete in an AI era. All of those products have our Rovo uh, offering as a baseline capability in them. So all of our paying customers of all of our products have Rovo, uh, accelerating their work through providing world-class enterprise search, great chat, and agent building capabilities. Yeah, now that really changes uh, when I, when I, again, when I think of Atlassian and Jira, that's a dev tool. Uh, System of Works really designed to be more uh, cross-organization, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah we have, certainly have our roots uh, with Jira helping engineering teams track their issues and work items. But what we noticed over the course of many years is that these tools like Jira and Confluence and Loom and whatnot are actually applicable to virtually any team. Every team has complex projects that are, have tasks, that have goals, that have knowledge bases that need to be maintained. All of those things come together in that system of work, and we have accelerated that work through AI uh, to make sure that we are able to uh, help these teams accomplish more and compete in this AI era. Yeah, now the centerpiece of the system of work is Robo, as you mentioned, and just do a, a deep dive on that. It's a serious set, yeah. set of agents, uh, but it's, it's really much more than that, right? Absolutely, yeah. so Robo combines a world-class enterprise search engine uh, your AI uh, Robo Chat, uh, able to query over your knowledge, uh, and our studio, which is able to uh, let people build agents, uh, automations, and more simply using natural language. And that means that anyone who needs an extra pair of hands to uh, make a simple task way more faster can simply describe that task, and an agent will be created for them to get all that work done uh, and work alongside them as an AI teammate. Yeah, and and it's really the agentic capabilities that allow you to do that now. Yeah. Uh, now, I was going to ask you about maybe giving me a customer example, but maybe the best one is Williams Racing. You are the title sponsor, and they've been using Jira for a long time, and they've recently started using your system work in Robo, right? So you can talk about their use case and how it's helped them improve. Absolutely. You know, our relationship with Williams Racing is truly special. Uh, we're not only their sponsor, but also their technology partner. And so we've been working for nearly a year now with them to actually help them infuse our system of work and Robo and there's ways of working. And that means that everything from their HR department, their engineering team, the folks who work on the pit, uh, HQ, all those teams are now getting that system of work, Jira, Confluence, Loom, are changing the way they work. So for example, meetings are recorded in Loom now. They're tracking all of the parts uh, from all of their uh, all their suppliers for the car, uh, you know, through Jira, through assets, uh, tracking a lot of their knowledge uh, about track conditions, you know, uh, learnings from past races and Confluence. Uh, and are now building robo agents to work across all that information and help their team move way faster. And we've seen examples like, for example, uh, they're running wind tunnel uh, testing. Yeah. And we've seen- And that the, was to redesign the fin, right? Yeah, exactly. The wing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, and previously, you know, when you actually ran uh, a car uh, through a wind tunnel test, you get a bunch of data out and only a couple of people actually knew how to interpret that data. And that was a real bummer because there's so many people around the uh, around the globe who are trying to use that data to make the car better and try to react to whatever is learned. So now what they've done is they've trained a robo agent to actually look at that data and interpret it and give feedback to the right teams tailored to what they do so that they can go and actually operate on it and action on it much more quickly. And as a result, build a better car week after week. 
Yeah, and uh, they told us the press event they've actually seen some good results. Right? They've, it's actually helped them improve their racing. Absolutely. Uh, track. I mean, in F1, you know, milliseconds matter. Yes. And they're shaving milliseconds off. I think their performance this year is uh, absolutely awesome. Uh, and I think they're going to continue to rise. Uh, and we're happy to help be there alongside them to help them power that uh, transformation. Yeah, and then uh, do, have you shared, have you shared any ideas of how else they're going to use it? I mean, they're just starting this journey with you. They're, yeah, they're very early on. Uh, you know, I think uh, we, we shared earlier, uh, you've heard that uh, all their meetings now have uh, Loom as an example. And, and Loom is your... Yeah, Loom is a, uh, uh, is a tool that helps you record uh, any video content, including really your meetings. Video. Yeah, and it helps record your meetings, helps record presentations, uh, so you can annotate them and help bring life to whatever content is there. And then Loom AI, powered by Robo, helps you actually take what was uh, shared in that video uh, not just get a transcript from it, but understand who are the actors, what were the actions that were decided, uh, how do you annotate that video so you can find it again later and recall the right information. And because they're doing so many meetings every week on Loom, they're able to now go and use Robo to actually find what happened in that meeting. If somebody missed it, or if they forgot they had an action item or a piece of insight from one of the drivers, for example, they can quickly use Robo to recall that, find exactly what moment in the video it occurred, and get that knowledge out right away. And what I like about that is typically with meetings, we do the meeting pretty well. Yeah. But we have no idea what happened as soon as the meeting's over. Absolutely. And so now that it extends really the lifespan of that meeting to people that weren't at the meeting, which before, unless you had that real A-type person taking notes, Absolutely. no one would know, no, no, yeah. Absolutely. And, and even if you're taking notes, like a lot of times after a week or two, people forget, right? They yeah. don't remember what happened, who did what, what was that insight that, you know, Alex or Carlos said in that meeting, right? All that gets typically lost, but thanks to Robo uh, and the system of work, we're able to actually go and help people recall that instantly. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. and uh, just a couple of questions. Uh, yeah. So you've got system of work built, uh, Robo's been launched, it seems like it's been adopted really well. Yeah. Uh, without getting into any NDA material, what's what's uh, what, do you, what else are you guys thinking about from an AI perspective? Well, we're really excited. Uh, earlier this year, we announced that we're making Robo available to all of our paid subscribers. So there are all, all these teams now are able to operate like a Formula One team that's uh, on the rise. Uh, and really, every company is now. It's all data-driven organizations. Absolutely, so, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're all working this way. We are now have over three and a half million uh, customers using Robo every month, and that's growing 50% quarter over quarter. Uh, we have over 100 times growth in the use of Robo Search. We have 50 times growth in the use of Robo Chat. So we're just focused on making all of these tools much better. Uh, what we've seen particularly growing a lot is um, the studio and the agent building. Uh, we saw just in the last couple of months over two million. Uh, automations and workflows accelerated with Robo Agents. So we're diving deep into that uh, to help people accelerate more of what they can build with Studio. And we're going to accelerate much more of the work that's happening on all these companies uh, thanks to using Agents and Studio as well as the rest of Robo. Yeah, and so last question you know, I've seen the MIT reports and things that show companies are stuck, not getting the value. Yeah. Um, clearly, there's value in AI, right? Absolutely. The Williams example, you know, I, I think plays it out. A couple pieces of advice to customers that are in the process, we want to do AI, but you don't know how to proceed. Yeah, so you know, the study you brought up is really interesting. If you think a lot about how most people are using AI, it's to accelerate themselves. You, know, you maybe got a few minutes of help writing uh, that email, correcting your grammar, writing a short document. That's all great. But what we're finding is that even when we talk outside of that MIT report, when we talk to our customers and our leaders of those companies, they're saying that they don't see teamwork acceleration until they start using Robo. And that's because we built Robo with a team focus. Yeah. Now, when you talked about how do you accelerate companies, how, how do companies help accelerate their transformation? In addition to, of course, using Robo, two things I'd recommend is one, uh, leaders themselves of every company uh, start embracing the tools and sharing with their employees. Yeah, it's got to be top down, right? Yeah, well, and, and, and not just a mandate, but really actually themselves sharing what they are doing with those tools with their employees, sharing where they failed, where they succeeded. That makes it okay for you to try it and to see what that learning process is like because your leader is doing it. The second thing is I would really recommend that uh, every company has usually a trailblazer team or two. The guys who just, maybe because they felt the most pain somewhere, are the most open-minded to trying something different or doing something new. Give them the AI tools, put a spotlight on them, help them celebrate uh, when they have success because people will look up to them as role models and they will be evangelists uh, from the bottoms up as well. All right, thanks. Yeah. And uh, good luck to the last one. Yeah, that's right. And I do want to point out too that one of the things I really respect about F1 is because of their hard cap, Yep. If they're using a product from a vendor, this isn't just a sponsorship, right? Yeah. Even if you're really the software, totally. they have to count that towards the cap. So I know whenever I see an F1 team using a certain product, it's actually Absolutely. being used in this little bit of value. Absolutely, yeah. And we're uh, so proud that we're able to go and help uh, you know, the Atlassian Williams team this yeah. way. 
and that they're finding tremendous value out of Rovo yeah. and our system will work. All right, anything else you want to add? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, I just want to say, uh, go at Lassie and Williams yeah. and uh, please try Robo now and uh, let us know how we can better help you accelerate your teamwork. Yeah, all right. So on behalf of Jamil Valiani, head of AI for Lassie and I'm Zia Scaravallo from ZK Research. Saying thanks for watching. Uh, why don't you give us a like and then that subscribe button and I'll see you next time on the next episode of ZCast.